Okay, guys, this week we're going to be learning about formation of a new substance. Here's a video on physical versus chemical change. Welcome to Moo Moo Math and Science. In this video, I'd like to talk about physical and chemical changes. Physical changes are changes in appearance only. A new substance is not created, and chemical bonds are not formed or broken. For example, take this stack of paper and wadding it up into smaller pieces is a physical change. It still has the same properties as the original paper. Cutting someone hair is a physical change because the hair has the same properties as the original hair. Phase changes are physical changes when ice goes from a solid to a liquid, to a gas, and then back. Those are physical changes. Most mixtures are physical changes. For example, mixing salt and water together is a physical change because the salt and water can be separated out later. Chemical changes, on the other hand, create a new substance. It involves breaking or making chemical bonds between atoms. Chemical changes leave behind clues or indicators. Here are five indicators of a chemical change. First, if you see burning or fire, you have a chemical change. Second, a temperature change without heating or cooling is an indicator of a chemical change. Third, an explosion is an indicator of a chemical change, and they're pretty fun. A change in color is a chemical change. A change in odor can be a clue that a chemical change has occurred. And any time when you mix items and you see bubbles or it fizzes, you have a chemical change. Thanks for watching Physical and Chemical Changes. Moo Moo Math and Science uploads a new math and science video every day. All right, so there was our video on physical and chemical changes at your introduction. Um, the next part, if you're not in the live session, you won't do the breakout rooms, but you can, st you can still discuss and do the polls. We're going to discuss whether or not these are chemical or physical changes. You got a burning candle, melting ice cube, a rusty nail, crushed chalk. On the pole, you're going to tell me which one is which. Is the burning candle a chemical or a physical change? Is the melting ice a physical or a chemical change? Was the rusty nail a physical or a chemical change? Was the crushed chalk a physical or a chemical change? In the live session, we discussed whether or not they were physical or chemical. If you need to know and you're not in the live session, you can Google search it. Physical changes. In a physical change, matter changes form, but not chemical identity. So when ice melts, that's physical. Chopping wood is physical. Mixing gray and green marbles, that's physical. Shredding paper is physical. Chemical changes. In a chemical change, a chemical reaction occurs and a new product is formed. Burning wood, a rotting banana, mixing vinegar and baking soda, and fireworks are all chemical changes. What is happening in this video that shows a chemical change? You're going to click on this video and watch it, and you're going to tell me whether what you see is an indicator of a chemical change. Same thing in this one. You're going to watch this video, and you're going to tell me what the indicator is of a chemical change. Same thing in this one. You're going to watch the video and tell me what the indicator is of a chemical change.
Again, you're going to watch the video and tell me what the indicator is of a chemical change. And one last video, you're going to show, tell me what the indicator is of a chemical change. So evidence of a chemical reaction, when a gas is produced, when there is an unexpected color change, when you have a temperature change, or when a precipitate or solid is produced. So here are some examples. In this one, you can see the solids forming in the beakers. In this one, you can see the gas bubbles. In this one, you can see the color changing. And in this one, you know that there's a temperature change because the fire is burning the wood. Sides of a chemical change chart. Production of a gas, you're gonna to wanna to copy this down. I will list it in the, um, I will put it in the folder. You're gonna to wanna to copy this down or save it somewhere. Production of a gas, you'll see bubbles or smoke. A temperature change, the two things being mixed get hotter or colder without heating, actually heating them up. Production of a precipitate or a solid, you can see specks of a solid inside whatever you're mixing. Color change is when two things are mixed together and there is a very clear color change. Production of a light, light is visible where there was none before. At the end of this near pod, you're gonna do a time to climb. So if you're watching this live, uh, we're gonna be doing all these activities. If you're gonna be doing the student paced activity, then you need to go through this near pod just as I showed you. And that's it, thanks.